process video for UK Scrap Addicts today. Um, I am going to be making some alcohol ink butterfly embellishments. Our theme this month is to make handmade embellishments. So as you saw at the beginning, I'm using the Calm Waters kit by Little Rainbow Moon. I will link her shop below. She does wonderful um, handmade watercolour paints as well as creative kits. So first off uh, though, I am going to be making a page of alcohol ink splishes and splashes and uh, then I'll be cutting this out to create my butterflies. So I'm using some vellum so that it moves around nice and smoothly over the paper. I mean, ideally you can use a uh, Yuppo paper which is uh, made especially for alcohol inks I believe, but I'm just using vellum. Um, and I'm adding two colours of alcohol ink as well as some um, alcohol ink alloys, which is the metallic which kind of gathers together and um, leaves like metallic kind of, um, sorry if you just heard a motorbike go flying past, um, it just leaves like a like a vein of um, a metal running through it all. And then I'm using this blower to move the ink around. I'm not worried about making any nice feathered edges like you would do if you were making an actual art piece um, or using it as to make a background. I'm just wanting lots of colour, lots of different splishes and splashes on there, as much variety as possible. So as you saw, it would work really well as a background. If I was to do it as a full background, I'd just either staple the edges or I'd glue the centre or you could even stitch around the edge. Um, as you can see it looks it does look really nice and that and I decided to go with a white background um, I was going to go with black because uh, the colours still showed up but I thought um, white background would work really nicely with the colours so now I'm taking the watercolour paints the handmade watercolour paints and I'm just going to splash on lots of different colours they are made to coordinate perfectly with my kit so um, it's just a matter of adding, gradually adding more and more colour until I'm happy with my background. And I do add, sometimes I add a bit of water without the paint, then I add the paint with water, and then sometimes I just dip the paint, more paint to it and less water, just to get a bit of variety on the page. And then I do a few splashes here and there as well. And um, once I'm happy with that, I'll just let it dry. I'm using the Calm Waters uh, paint palette as well as two from the metallics paint palette um, again I'll as I say I'll link the shop below if you want to go and check them out they are lovely and they're such high quality they're great to use and they come in them cute little tins so here I'm just adding some of them a mixture of the silver and more pearlescent white color um, over the top to just give it a little bit of a silvery shimmer because I'm going to be using some gilding flakes in a bit um, here I'm just taking some off the papers, there's tissues, there's hand painted papers and stickers and all sorts so I'm just taking some bits from the kit to make my paper layers. I'm just going to staple this bit of um, tissue together because um, I just wanted to add that little fold in it. Apologies if you can hear uh, my little boy in the background as well. Chaos here, it's the only time I have to film though I'm afraid. Um, no school and all that. So um, I'm going to be using some of that alcohol ink background as a layer to tie it all in together because in the um, Calm Water kits there's not so much green whereas on my alcohol inks I've only got a few alcohol inks and I chose the green and bluey colour ones because those went the best with this. So all I'm going to do is add some of this liquid watercolour also by Little Rainbow Moon. Just add a hint more of the green to tie everything in together so that um, the background matches in with the alcohol ink butterflies once I've made them as well and then in with the paper layers as well so the whole thing ties in so yeah I've just added a small amount of that green just to a hint of it here and there and now I'm just going to chop up this um, vellum with the alcohol ink on and I'm just going to work out what size I need to make them chop off a few and then into the right shape and then just put, pop them on this um, very old 
You can see how old my machine is. It's the right state. <laughs> and, my, and my cutting boards as well. It's one of those old big styes which you don't need uh, a platform for. They the they cut into the sponge, so you can cut different materials with these um, more so than with the normal metal dies. So they're quite handy. Um, and as you can see, I've just cut out a load of butterflies. So I'm going to layer them up as well. And now this it got very messy at this point. I decided to try and do these hearts through um, a stencil to have metallic hearts using the gilding flakes, but it just came out as splodges and the gilding flakes got all in my hands and it was all a big mess, but it looked pretty, so it was all good. But I, if, if you don't like mess and glitter and things like that, I would suggest avoiding doing this because it's definitely a, a very messy process. So what I do is I let the glue dry slightly just so it's tacky rather than full on like um, still wet and then the gilding flakes stick to it and then I take an old brush and brush off all the excess and then I try and pour it back into the bag. I don't make you watch me do all that, it took ages because it was just fly floating around my room like Christmas. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, I'm just brushing off the excess and then you're left with that beautiful gilding across the butterflies there and there's some running down the watercolour as well. Now I'm just adding some dimension to my paper layers to help the picture of my, that is my new little boy Jemis, to help my photo pop off the page. As always, I always add um, some thin foam in between. It's cheaper than buying foam pads and it lasts ages. You just add a bit of tape to it or a glue runner and sticks down just fine and I glue most of the back of the vellum because it has curled up from having um, alcohol inks on it it didn't stay very flat it probably would have done if I'd have put it under some books or something to dry after it dried sorry um, so now next oh I'm just adding a little more watercolor around the bottom there because I know that I want my title to go across there and my title is white it's um the acrylic words by Bramble Fox. So I'm just adding a little more colour so that they stand out a bit better. Um, on my background, I'm just um, choosing some from the same colours that I used before. And am I about done? Almost, maybe. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little rusty. It's been about eight months since I last, last um, did a video, uh, obviously, because of having my little boy. So it's taken me quite a while to get back into things. Um, I think I'm just about done. We're just adding a few more splashes here and there around the edge. And then I think enough mixed media already, Sarah. Come on, <laughs> move on. <laughs> okay, so next up, I'm taking some Nouveau um, glue and just gluing the centre of the butterflies together. I'm not going to glue down um, any... Uh, the whole thing obviously because I want it to be three-dimensional just down the center and then just put them to one side to dry and I'll also use that glue to glue down my um, title the Nouveau glue works well you could also use glossy accents I think they're basically the same thing if I'm wrong then please do tell me in the in the comments I don't want to be giving <laughs> false information but as far as I'm aware they're pretty similar products it works very well as a glue anyway, this stuff. You can also use it to make clear acrylic dots, like sort of style droplets around your page, which look nice. And of course, with these um, Bramble Fox pieces, you need to take the protective layer off the top of the um, words. There's always like a plastic layer that you take off and then underneath it's super shiny, really nice. Now, I'm moving that out of the way to dry whilst I finish embellishing my butterflies. I'm taking tiny um, heart gems and then in silvery colour and then some just tiny dot ones as well and just making little hearts for the heads and then dotting a few down the centre for the bodies. And once I've got them embellished I do take some vellum 
glue dots and just add them to the back of each butterfly again only on the center point so that the wings can lift up slightly and then I'm just putting them around my page I've done three because threes always work on scrapbook pages it's just one of those things they, it looks pleasing to the eye so I'm putting one at the bottom I have actually covered up where I made a mistake on the bottom where I managed to get glue on that bit when I was doing the gilding flake so uh, another thing about scrapbooking if something goes wrong just cover it with something pretty and move on <laughs> and now I'm just adding a few of these cute um, watercolour stickers as well with some words on them and just dotting them around because they have more of the blue from behind the photo and I felt like it needed a little more blue uh, apologies this time it's the baby <laughs> and um, and then I'm finally adding some trails of um, diamante little gems coming from my butterflies and then I'm just going to dot around a few just around the page for add a bit of sparkle all over the edge and then I finally finish off with some white splashes off this Posca pen and part of the reason why I did this was again to cover up a couple of little mistakes where things had gone a little <laughs> far away from the where I wanted the cluster of colours so I just added a few more um, around the page as well and that is me done so thanks for joining me today if you did find me on UK Scrap Addicts and you'd like to see more from me then do check out my channel which will be linked below and if you found me via my channel definitely go over to UK Scrap Addicts and see all the wonderful scrapbook pages the girls are creating over there so thanks again uh, apologies for it being really rusty <laughs> I hope I'll get back in the swing of things soon have a great day everyone bye